Do not attempt to adjust the picture. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound and lasagna. A dimension known as the Garfield Zone. Uh-oh, this looks like it's gonna be one of those real weird episodes. This unremarkable house in this unremarkable neighborhood belongs to John Arbuckle, who is, oddly enough, unremarkable. And the somewhat overweight creature is John Arbuckle's cat, Garfield, about to wreak havoc and terror. Translation, I'm waiting for the mailman. <laughs> Hey! You should check your oil more often. You're down a court. I quit. I'm going home. Hmm. Then you won't be needing this lunch you packed, right? Hmm, liverwurst. Whoa! The next morning, fate comes early. Hi, Buckle. Door. John Arbuckle, I am Professor Bonkers, head of scientific type research at Postal Headquarters. You and your cat are to come with us. What if we don't want to? Huh? Huh? We brought you here to correct a situation that is intolerable and in sorry need of correction. We cannot have citizens' pets oh. Oh. terrorizing our mailmen. Oh, that. Hey, I smell something edible. Mr. Arbuckle, you have been selected to participate in an experiment that will revolutionize mail delivery as we know it. Here is the mail that was to be delivered to you this morning. I am going to demolecularize it. Huh? Hey, my mail! There was a letter there from my mother. Uh... <laughs> huh? Your mail, Mr. Arbuckle. Observe. The proper way for a pet to pester a postman. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. Whoa. Ah. Ooh, that hurt. Ah. Missed. What is that? From now on, your mail will be delivered by a holographic mailman. A holographic mailman? A three-dimensional image capable of delivering digitized mail. We had to find a way of protecting our mailmen from creatures such as your cat. <laughs> Have a nice day, Mr. Arbuckle. I've got to have another run at this. Ouch! Oh, this is terrible. What am I going to do? I know what I'll do. I'll have another taco. Hey! Too late. And so the cat licked the plate clean. But what he didn't realize was that a tiny drop of taco sauce dripped off one whisker and fell into the computer master control. A drop that would short circuit and reprogram things so the cyber mailman would no longer deliver today's mail. He would begin to deliver tomorrow's mail. Too bad, cats. Sorry, dogs. You won't have this mailman to kick around anymore. Especially this cat. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Arbuckle. Huh? Your mail. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, wait. I have your morning newspaper for you, too. Oh. Have a nice day. He's out there, Odie, and he's mocking me. Huh? Hmm. This is odd. This newspaper I just got has the winning lottery numbers in it. But I thought the drawing wasn't until tonight. Huh. This is even odder. 
This isn't today's date on the newspaper. It's tomorrow's date. That afternoon, he bought a ticket. The numbers in the newspaper were 1, 7, 23, 30, 40, 41. Bonus number 21. And now it's time for this week's winning lottery number. They are as follows. 1, 7, 23, 30, 40, and 41. To bonus number 21. Ah, I have all the numbers! I'm rich! I'm filthy rich! Say we join you, Moody. <laughs> And I owe it all to somehow getting tomorrow's newspaper today. Gee, I wonder if tomorrow I'll get the newspaper for the day after. And as it turned out, that's exactly what happened. Here you go, Mr. Arbuckle. Yes! And so every day, he bought another lottery ticket. 3, 13, 22, 31, 41, 42, bonus number 11. And every evening, he won. That would be 3, 13, 22, 31, 41, 42, bonus number 11. <sighs> Another million dollars. Maybe I'll take tomorrow off and I won't enter the lottery. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I'd better enter. I may need that money. <laughs> Soon, everyone knew of his incredible luck. Mr. Arbuckle, you've now won the lottery 42 times in a row. How the heck do you do it? Oh, I guess I'm just a good guesser. Well, I suppose you're going to turn over your fortune to some famous investment expert like Bernie Scamberry, who'll triple your money? Well, mostly I've been feeding my cat. I haven't decided what to do. <gasps> hey, what was that name again? Triple my money. Hmm. An hour later, John Arbuckle was in the office of the famed investment counselor, Bernard Scamberry. Here it is, Mr. Scamberry, a certified check for everything I've won. Good, and I'll take care of your money. Uh, this is a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I would have used it to buy every Italian restaurant in town. Oh, and with the change, I would have picked up a little hot dog cart. <laughs> you won't regret this, Mr. Arbuckle. I turn millionaires into billionaires, and billionaires into trillionaires. Great, Bernie. I just know I can trust you. <sighs> Looks like rain. You think it's going to rain, Garfield? I can check. I can look at tomorrow's newspaper and see if it rained today. Uh-huh. It says today was cloudy, but no precipitation. See, it says it right here under the photo of Bernie. Bernie? Authorities say investment counselor Bernard Scamberry has fled to Brazil with millions of dollars in clients' money. <laughs> He's gone! So is your money. <laughs> and now from the window, they can almost hear him say, when I get to Brazil, I'll send you a postcard with your money. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Looks like Bernie made off with the money. Well, it's not so bad. As long as I'm getting newspapers from the future, I can still win the lottery and make it all back. <clears throat> you know, I haven't bought a ticket for tonight's drawing. Let's see what the winning numbers are. <gasps> hey, read that. Oh, uh, what's so important, Garfield? Hmm, mysterious explosion destroys post office experimental lab. Hey, that's the place they took us to. <laughs> ah, too bad about that, but... Oh! Oh! Arbuckle and his cat raced for the lab. Their intentions were good, but they hadn't realized something. You cannot change the future. Something is amiss with the central core of the cyber mailman digitizer. There seems to be a short circuit. How could that have happened? It is impossible. Unless, of course, someone dripped taco sauce inside of it. Hurry, guys! Hurry! This is the post office. Nobody hurries around here. 
I smell smoke. Is there any chance of that thing blowing up? None whatsoever. I would stick my reputation on it. <sighs> this lab is about to explode! I will not, however, stake my life on it. <gasps> The Cyber Mailman Project. It will be years before we could restore it. Which means no more future newspaper deliveries to me. Oh. <sighs> but that's not the worst part of it. No, the worst part of it was that Herman Post, career letter carrier, had to go back to delivering mail the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I did it! I delivered the mail without running into that staff! Whoa! That's what you get for bringing nothing but bills all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Submitted for your approval. A mailman who thought science could catapult them into the future without cats. He should have known there's no escaping destiny and... The Garfield Zone. <gasps> I told you this was going to be one of those weird episodes. <laughs>